Hey guys, Vern's back with another Super Coach video, this time the round 22 review. Did we make finals? As we can see with our league wins, we unfortunately won 6 out of 9. We lost to our, if you guys remember from last week, I was versing shit team in 3 leagues and we uh, dropped it to him to, by about 40. But we picked up the rest of the wins. Um, wasn't a bad week for us overall, I mean 2,485. Uh, we went up 600 places. It could have been a massive week for us, so I'm honestly disappointed. Um, as you all know, I run Lipinski, and he dropped a 32. Like, like, I lost these finals by 40 points, and having a premium drop a 32? Yeah. Super, super, super disappointed. Um, look, positives are up to rank one. Uh, sorry, five thousand five hundred nineteen. Um, hopefully, we can finish in the top five thousand with one more week left. So let's do it. Let's um, let's try and get that win. As I said, just well, I'm a little bit disappointed, and obviously, we'll see the team in just a moment. A lot of things went right at the end of the day. Um, maybe something I missed because obviously Frio versus West Coast, I should have had Darcy on the field rather than Wits, and then I could have put the VC on him and banked a bit of extra points. Wouldn't have won me the game, but, uh, as we can see right here, the Lipinski 32, absolutely disgusting. Trade that out for Rioli, give me an extra 37 points, um, and I'm pretty sure I, I lost the game by like 36 or so, but like, obviously I'm never going to do that. That's just really disappointing. Pies, also we lose the game. The 11 win streak is stopped, but honestly not too disappointed with it. I knew Sydney was going to be a hard team. I think a lot of people obviously knew Sydney is going to be a good and hard team to play, especially at the SCG. So it was definitely a hard game going into it. And they played good footy, honestly, overall. And I, I was um, honestly one of those people sitting there thinking I would like for us to more or less lose a game before going into finals. I know that might sound weird saying it, but I don't know. I feel like losing a game and then if your team can bounce back the next week, which I'm really hoping we do against Carlton uh, with obviously Melbourne versus Brisbane. If we bounce back, we take top four, so that's awesome. But it would show some real good mental fortitude. And I think losing to Sydney was the correct loss. If we were going to have to lose like one of these like last five games, like that's the one I guess we would probably want at the end of the day. And if we can bounce back this week against Carlton, it's going to be... I'm going to feel very confident heading into finals. So, yeah, I look really forward to some finals footy. Even the last week of um, footy is super intense. Obviously, Brisbane and Melbourne playing. Loser is probably locked out of top four because you're going to assume that Frio beats Giants. So Frio will at least go above the loser there. Then if we obviously win, we'll go above Frio and the loser um, to finish off. Then also Sydney versus St. Kilda. St. Kilda, if they get the win and we beat Carlton, they'll slip into eighth. But if they win and we beat Carlton, we'll slip above Sydney as well. So we could move as high as third, which would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's just some really, really super like important games this week. Um, I think dogs are also in the similar position to saints. Are they where? No, I think I remember looking at it actually now. So saints, even if they beat Sydney because of the percentage, they can't get in front of Carlton. So I think they needed Richmond to lose, which obviously they didn't. So I think saints Season, it's not technically done, but, like, they need to win the game, like, a few hundred points, so it, it's done. <laughs> um, so, I think it's Doggies who are just behind Carlton in percentage. So, Doggies need us to beat Carlton to slip into eighth. Um, assuming Richmond win and obviously take seventh. And then, yeah, then it's a matter of uh, Frio, Pies, potentially the loser of this game, who ends up in our sixth and fifth, fourth, etc., etc., so yeah, um, exciting last week. Looks like I realized I missed last week was the captain choices. Um, obviously, I went with Mills at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean, looking at the players overall, like we, we had good players. Short bounced back with a really good game, which was nice. I saw him behind the ball a lot, which was awesome. Sicily was playing in the midfield, kicked an early goal. Um, I guess they were experimenting, but it worked pretty well super coach wise Dawson had a massive game. Sinclair had a massive game. Uh, Dale with the 88, which is fine, and Crisp, honestly, being a bit lackluster again, 74. Really unfortunate, I guess, just a bit disappointing. Laird um, got shut down in the North game, like, shut down to a degree, I mean, 97, like, is, is not a score that you would set up and be like, that's terrible. 
it's um definitely for how he's been performing you know I guess some people consider that disappointing but it, it's really fine at the end of the day uh, Miller with the 125 Oliver 126 a lot of people captained Oliver uh, going into Carlton but once Cripps actually got named I decided that yeah Mills was my best option there um, Neil with the 76 um, obviously got a bit of pressure on his game and Mills with the 129 sorry 128 plays that like loose mat behind the ball actually really disappointing there was like three times Mills grabs the ball because obviously Collingwood had the pressure in the final quarter we were just berating them and they managed to withstand the attack and multiple times we'd kick behind Mills would pick up the ball and he threw it to Lloyd or he threw, threw it to Blakey or he threw it to Rampy like I saw him do it like three times to each one of those guys and Super frustrating, because uh, Mills is a good kick, and I understand that he runs to the right, and then he wants the little chip to him, but we were very aware of that, so we weren't letting them get that easy chip to Mills, and then the run up the wing, so in reality, he was just handing them the ball and then not getting a possession himself, so really sucks, because if he just takes the extra kick in, um, you know, maybe extra three or so in, in those specific situations, pushes maybe an extra six points or so and with me running him as captain it's it's nice obviously it's not huge overall but it's just a bit frustrating to see that um like mills just just take the kick like just dude you have the ball i, I get it that sydney were trying to slow the game um i guess like <laughs> being a Collingwood player we don't really do that like we grab the ball and we look to move it quick um but they were much happier to sort of throw it around move around be a lot slower with it which was definitely the correct play um yeah just a bit annoying on a super coach point of view uh, Cripps came back with a good game, which was awesome. Uh, he was really going hard. Like, he was smacking it off. Oh, speaking of which, how good was this actual Carlton-Melbourne game? Like, holy crap. I'm actually a little bit sad, obviously, as a Pi supporter. Like, Carlton winning just means that they guarantee their finals, which is cool for them, but it means that we stay in top of Melbourne, so right now we'd be sitting fourth. Um Which isn't a big deal, considering Melbourne and Brisbane have to play this week anyway. Uh, but it would have just been a better position for us overall sort of thing. Um, just like in the hindsight that, say, we lose to Carlton this week, but Brisbane get up on Melbourne, we would have obviously held fourth over them. Actually, sorry, Frio probably would have taken us both down, so I guess it doesn't really matter in that retrospect. But yeah, um, I think just better for Collingwood overall, but oh well. And it also means that maybe Carlton's not coming as hard next week because they secure their finals position. Uh, obviously now they're going to have to work super hard uh, because they'll know in advance if they need to win or not for finals being one of the last games. So yeah, a little bit unfortunate for a Collingwood point of view that uh, they lost there with that Cozzy picket just snap. Um, I, I don't know how that happened. Like obvi obviously like everyone just like watching the replay it just... he Obviously he got tackled and he got it while getting tackled. Um... To a degree, got pulled down obviously with it, but jeez, that was that would have been heartbreaking. Like you saw the uh, Carlton players, I reckon everyone saw the Carlton like supporters. Everyone, they just heartbreaking for those guys. Um, but really, really huge moment for Cosy Pickett, which is really cool. Um, he's an exciting player, and that's what exciting players do. They they make those memorable moments. So that was pretty dope. Uh, McRae with the 114, we'll take that. He bounced back. He hasn't had the greatest few weeks. Uh, Kelly 112, once again, we'll take that. But he was sitting a lot higher earlier in the game. Like, he'd scored a lot of points by halftime. I think he was leading points get up at halftime. Um, and then, like, finishing on 112 isn't bad, but he just was in a position where he definitely could have been pushing, like, the 130 mark, unfortunately. Um, Wits 116, awesome. We take that. Darcy the 155, amazing. As I said, probably should have had him on field. I don't think you ever don't do the VC on Laird at the end of the day, just because of how fire he was, but maybe you take the C on Darcy. I don't know, Darcy into Nitnat, so it's a bit hard to say. I don't think I ever would have done that, um, but it's definitely not something I'm contemplating when I have Darcy on the on the side like this. It's, it's just, it's not something I actively think about when I'm looking at my captain options, I think, so. Um, yeah, Wits isn't going to be captain option. Darcy isn't going to be either. <coughs> Uh, Bolt 100, Parker and Heaney both had good games, the 112 and the 109 from Heaney, uh, Grundy with, sorry, Brody, uh, Will Brody with the 104, which is alright, and then Dunkley with the 90, and then Lipinski, I just, 
Oh my goodness. Man, imagine if I actually got a premium here. Not some fake premium like Lipinski, like an actual premium. Could have had a massive season. Obviously, Parrish was a big down for us when we had him, but yeah, this Lipinski being my F6 is really hurt, unfortunately. Super disappointing. Um, so yeah, next week, Captain Options. As you guys can probably hear my voice as well, I'm sorry about this, but I am a bit sick. Um, I don't know, I just very clogged up in the sinuses um, and very phlegmy, so sorry if you hear that coming through. Um, ooh, Captain Options. I mean, Carlton mids into Collingwood mids isn't a bad one. So I, I don't mind the crisp Crips. Um, I don't know about St. Kilda, Sydney. I don't think I'll touch that. Dogs could definitely go off against... Uh, Hawks, they definitely leave the window open for a lot of super coach scoring. Um, just give me one me one second here, guys. Sorry about that, just didn't want to cough in the mic, and I'm too lazy to edit stuff, so that's why I do it like that. Um, Geelong into West Coast. Um, if I don't know if there's any Geelong players that really ever stand out as a captain option, though. Um, I guess Miller is a very obvious one, actually, now into North, so... Do we put the VC there? Oh, we have the Derby with Adelaide versus Port. That could be a big one, too. Um, it's hard to put one of these dogs, just because... I just don't know which one's going off week to week. Sorry, I got the hiccups now, too. I'm really ruining everything. I think Parrish is a great one. If you've got Parrish... Yeah, I think Miller into Parrish is really nice. But right now, Melbourne definitely will put somebody in the Neil. Probably, um, probably Viney. I'd assume goes to Neil. So he he sometimes does some work there. Maybe not, but yeah, I definitely see uh, Neil getting attention. So I don't think he's going to be the option. He might be, um, but I think it's just going to be another one of those weeks where we're going Oliver into Miller. Um, yeah, Oliver's just such a safe VC, such a high ceiling. I think Gorn, if you have him this week, is not bad either. Um, the Big O has done pretty well at stopping other rucks from scoring, but, and he's had a good season overall, so maybe not Gorn, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with, yeah, Oliver into Miller myself, personally. Uh, I think, yeah, Parrish is another good one you can go for. Um, I mean, if you want to go wacky, you can go like a Sicily. I think Crips could be a pretty good one too. So I think they're the good uh, captain options if you want to hit it up. It's one of those things where I do think you can monitor it. Obviously, being finals weeks, if you're trying to win your finals, what are the other? What, what did your opponent put as the VC? Um, and where you are in the league. At the end of the day, if you're looking to like say say see Crips or something like that, and you realize that you're in a position where you only really lose if Crips comes out with like a terrible captain score. And you VC'd Miller, and Miller picked up a 110, which, you know, isn't great. So you usually wouldn't take that as a captain. But if you take the 110 and Crips puts out, like, 70-plus, you secure your final win. Then, like, you can definitely do something like that. So keep that in mind. I think that's why doing someone like Miller, I guess, a VC leaves a bit more versatility. Because, as I said, if he... Comes out with like a 110, but you realize you're going to lose your leagues with that, or you feel like you're going to lose your leagues with that, and you need to take a risk and put it on one of the dogs or put it on Crips and just hope for a 120 plus to sort of push you over the line. You can definitely be looking at that. Um, I'm confident in my team. I'm happy with how it's performed. Back to back weeks where we've gone up the rankings quite nicely, and we did win most of our leagues. Um, so I'm happy to go for the Oliver and to Miller. I also just think they're probably the most likely to have the highest scores. Don't get me wrong, Crips is definitely a great option. I, I don't, I wouldn't know which dog to go for. I think Bont would probably be my go-to if I went for that. Sicily is definitely not a bad option. And yeah, as I said, if you got Parish, that's a that's a great option. I think so. I'd probably, if I had Parish, go Miller into Parish. I reckon. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's um, obviously what you're looking at, everyone. So let's just jump into the leagues. Let's see how they all went at the end of the day. We had the lo the losses down here. Um, obviously, we lost l last week for this one, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, shit team in three leagues. And he topped us by uh, 38. Sorry, one second, guys. Oh, 
So sorry about that, guys. I'm going to need a glass of water real quick, too. Just <laughs> So sorry guys, I also don't know if y'all saw that on the camera, but as I took the cup away, a bit of water dripped and it went right on my mouse. That's very annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, we unfortunately lost a shit, uh, shit team by 38, which is a bit rough. Um, super close. Uh, Lipinski 100% let me down. That was that was the difference maker. That was the... Um, that was obviously a... I forget the word you use for it. Um, unique. And then he had... Um, Oh yeah, this is not showing me the game days, showing me the leagues, but he had Ridley who popped off at the end. He also had Merritt who really had a poor game, which is unfortunate. Um, few of these leagues, like Mates League here, um, my mate uh, Tian needed Merritt to go off. That was the last player playing against us both, and obviously Merritt just fell off, so that was pretty awesome for me. <laughs> I just got to be honest, it was good for me. Um, oh, so that's the minor finals. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Nobody cares. <laughs> um, yeah. Mates League got the highest score for the week and yeah, made it the finals. So we got fourth versus third in the finals. Uh, poor Amir beats me in round one to not even make it to the granny, my dude. Unlucky. Um, another one. Amir in it too. And Amir literally loses to his wife. <laughs> unlucky, bro. Unlucky. <laughs> nice run though, Darcy. Yeah, bottom bracket and it goes straight through. Massive week last week and another massive week this week, so really cool by her. Um, so bad, so unlucky for Amir. He finished first in both of our leagues and he uh, went down. <laughs> unlucky, my dude. Um, I am bottom bracket again. Doesn't really matter. 10th place versus 12th. Cool. Um, and then we finally get top brackets here. So this has been a good run from us overall. So we had a uh, fifth place finish and we managed to get all the way through to the finals. So fifth versus fourth in the finals. Pretty cool there. I would have done that in a lot of these leagues if shit team didn't shut me down. Super unfortunate. Uh, and then fifth again made, managed to make it through. I actually managed to beat uh, the guy I'm versing next week in finals for this one. Um, unlucky demands. Versing him next week in finals and I beat him this week to get through. Uh, it's one of those classic like you just you just join like a public league that uh because I'm in George's Discord, I just like grab the numbers and throw them in. Just just join like random leagues because I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, a lot of the same people. But yeah, fifth place have made it through. Fourth managed to sneak through as well. So yeah, fourth and fifth in both of those, which is pretty cool. See if we can finish off. I mean, total points, where are we sitting? Fourth and third. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, and in this one, where are we sitting? So yeah, fifth and fourth total points. Third and seventh. Wow. Seventh overall for total points, and he pushed to the finals. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, this will be Shorty, Shorty super coach. Shorty made it to the first round, but dropped off. First versus third total points. Oh, look at that. Six for total points, and we're down tenth, whatever we are. <laughs> uh, I think that's first versus second in total points. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, I'm pretty sure Mamiya was winning total points in all of our leagues. Yeah, he was. Um, and me and Simon versing each other in finals, so cool. Um, and then winning leagues again. Yep, cool. Final one to look at. Um, this was a bottom bracket anyway, so it doesn't matter. Super, super unlucky. Um, yeah, I was fifth for total points and ended up in bottom bracket. That's just... So Dodgers and Gary Danger Wood. So fourth and third and, yeah, fifth for total points. So obviously I've managed to make it to finals and bottom brackets. You'd assume that. And 11th in total points, so should get up there. Uh, now, this was my Vern Supercoach where I lost a shit team and then all these other ones that we'd joined. So, yeah, shit team getting up on me there. And I was coming from 8th as well, so that'd been really nice to sneak on through in my in my own league. <laughs> um, shit team got me, obviously, again, coming from 8th again. And he got me from 3rd. And then this time I was coming from 5th, so I had a bit of a... So I mean, same position, because 5th and 8th verse. Um, but yeah, shit team got me again, unfortunately, so... Yeah, 7th managed to get all the way through with the gone too long. That would have been pretty... Oh, I was going to say 7th and 8th, but no, if this was one I finished 5th in. Um, yeah, total points. I mean, where did we finish up? We're sitting about 6th, so fair enough. Shit team was number 1 overall rank, four four three. That's pretty massive, dude. Like, congrats on that. That's pretty awesome. Um, and it showed because you topped me in all of these. Uh, shit team, yep, up again. 
number one, and then I'm guessing shit teams finishing yeah, top in all of these. So, well done. Oh my gosh, I was ninth in my own league. Rough, rough, rough season. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, I'm sure all of you have probably tuned out by now. Um, thanks for sticking around for those that did. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for just being here every week, liking, subscribing. I appreciate it every week, guys. So, one week left. Good luck in all of your finals. Tell me how your finals have gone. If you've managed to make it all the way, if you've made that miracle run, uh, you know, that I couldn't make from eighth all the way to the finals, or if you just you just crushed your competition and easily got through the final so yeah tell me tell me what's happening guys i'll see you next week hopefully with some good news and we can uh bring home a few of these flags so peace later love yous